everybody, Jim here. Uh, what you're looking at there is one of the default feet on my Orion Atlas telescope and I'm going to be replacing it with three Lego levelers from tpastro.com and thanks to Dave Yates uh, for excellent service there and uh, let's see, I'm going to be showing you how I replace these. Before I move on, um, some of you are probably very observant and noticed that the, uh, the center of the tripod also has another modification. These were also from Deviates. Okay, so time to start removing the old feet. Um, I'm doing this in the kitchen, so I do apologize for the mess, but it was the best place to do it. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm just clamping up the, the end of the feet there with my uh, vice grip pliers. And uh, Dave actually recommends in his instructions to uh, heat it up and knock it off with a hammer. What I do is slightly different. Um, and I'll show you that what I do is heat it up and then I just grab it with the pliers and I twist it off I probably gave it about uh, two minutes of this um, Which was probably a little bit much, but you know, I didn't have any problems actually removing it once I once I heat it up because it, inside it there's like a glue uh, it's just like a sticky glue there that we had to get off, but I gave it about two minutes uh, with the heat gun. And a moment of truth when we try and take this off. There we go. Nice and easy, and I didn't have to whack it with a hammer. So, um, yeah, I much prefer to do it that way just because, um, you know, I didn't want to damage the aluminium. just pushing some paper towel on the inside of the legs just to stop any bits of glue uh, dropping on the inside of the legs it's no real need it's not going to cause any damage but I just don't want any bits dropping on the inside of it just for my own preference really and uh, just carry on scraping it and I'll probably get to sanding I think you'll agree there that it's starting to, to look rather good uh, with the sandpaper and uh, just a little bit of effort. It's uh, you know cleaned it up nicely. One thing I do want to mention is that the uh, the new feet for the tripod has a very very close fit shall we say to the inside of the tripod leg so get as much as the glue out as you possibly can otherwise it's going to be an extremely tight fit um, you know I'm sure you can push it in but again make sure it's as clean as possible I've left it a little bit there didn't cause any problems but again it's a very tight fit there um, what I'm doing is just unscrewing the end I'm pushing it into the end of the leg and what you do is just push it down as hard as you can and then twist it and it'll actually tighten itself up not a problem then just give it a little bit of a bit of a final twist at the end yeah, and apologize I'm actually holding the camera but this is what I meant there by loosening the leg and the last thing to do once you have all three legs on is loosen that big allen bolt there that you can see and uh, make sure that the the bolts at the end of it are vertical now I needed to do some other adjustments which I didn't do um, but uh, basically that's that's where we are at the moment so uh, almost finished and one last thing I was going to show you here is the uh, the leg spreader okay that's probably about as tight as you need to make it and uh, you know so there's a little bit of a click at the end when you push down in it but again that's not the purpose of this video and just make sure they're all bolted onto the legs about the same distance I made it about three or four fingers there but I did measure it uh, but again that's all dependent on your own tripod so there we have it so hope you enjoyed this video either like it and uh, give me some comments thanks very much and have a great day